Hello friends, Techman Pat here. We're bringing you some more news and again, it's around SpaceX. As I said in my last video about Telstra getting in on the action of Starlink, we have an announcement from Optus and let's jump straight in. But first, make sure to like and subscribe and let's roll the intro. Now, I think I predicted this last week. There's no way SpaceX would make an exclusive deal with just one telco in Australia. The country is wide and there's plenty of competition to select other telcos to work with. And today's announcement with Optus launching a certain system with SpaceX means a lot because it means that there'll probably be other telcos to follow. Right now, it's the big two. Is Vodafone gonna be next? Who knows? Now let's jump into IT News and their actual article. Couple of things to highlight. This isn't actually a full on reselling of Starlink. This is actually going to be a Starlink to mobile service. Apparently, and according to this article, there is still around 1.5% of Australians outside of mobile coverage. And according to this, Optus has 98.5% coverage in its mobile services for the country, which is really, really Really impressive. I mean, 98%, that's a passing score. That's, <laughs> I'll take those odds any time. So let's have a quick look at what they're talking about. So what's the outcome for this partnership? Well, apparently it's gonna give them 100% of coverage for Australia. Let's have a quick read of Managing Director for Marketing and Revenue, Matt Williams, quote, Australia's vastness and terrain can make it difficult for any operator to provide mobile coverage everywhere it is needed, especially in remote or hard to reach locations. Our work with SpaceX aims to bring the coverage capabilities of satellites direct to compatible mobile handsets without the need for customers to buy additional equipment. This is actually a unique use of SpaceX LEO satellites. If you have a compatible phone and so far far, I can only imagine iPhone has some satellite capabilities. Potentially, you'll be able to receive text and phone calls in an area where there is no coverage, but there is a SpaceX satellite flowing by. This is an incredibly unique solution. It's not about selling the Starlink hardware. It's about utilizing the LEO satellites. Now, I expect Telstra to do the same, but also resell the Starlink, uh, I guess, services just like anyone else. I think it'll just get bundled into your Telstra bill. It's not anything unique. They're just reselling the same services. But Optus's announcement here is actually unique. It's actually something that could be usable except obviously devices that would support this kind of functionality. By the time this actually goes into full production, it says here SMS will be available next year and then voice and data connectivity in 2025. Obviously there's a massive project to try and make this work. And I'm actually really excited. I think this is the perfect use case for SpaceX and people in extremely remote areas that just need mobile coverage when you're traveling through I think that'll be great. And people who are going out into these areas, maybe on a vacation exploration or just working out there, I think there's gonna be almost mandated if you work to get a phone that can support satellite connectivity. And if you're vacationing, maybe it's one of those things you just pack with you or take with you or purchase if you do this sort of thing often. Now, I actually caught something else on the Facebook page of Starlink uh, for Australians. Uh, apparently, Officeworks is selling the Starlink Internet Standard Kit for $200 which is awesome. It is out of stock, <laughs> but hey, that's actually really exciting. It is going extremely mainstream. So it's awesome for Starlink. Now, I am a big supporter of Starlink. I think they've done so well, but we need competition. And the only ones close <laughs> or relatively close speaking is Amazon's version of their own Starlink per se satellites but we're, we're, there's just really no other options right now. But anyway, I wanted to share these news with you. I think it's pretty darn interesting what's happening in this space. And Optus's announcement, I think, is probably the most unique. And Telstra, well, the information they gave us earlier, a couple of weeks ago, wasn't a lot. 
he didn't really prescribe what the plan is. It was just like, hey, we're gonna do something with SpaceX and we're gonna sell Starlink services. Uh, I think Optus has done much better. Obviously, Telstra, I think, just wanted to be the first person to do so. I saw some comments below on that video where somebody reached out to Telstra asking about it and people didn't, they didn't have a clue what was going on. I'm wondering if it could be the same with Optus, but this seems a little bit more thought out. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in another video. Make sure to like this video and comment below your thoughts and we'll chat there. Thanks and bye.